Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to use unlock item action which is a part of walk queue VBU. Unlock item means we are going to unlock the items which is already locked by your resources, your boat. So let's say you are going to run your process. So what will happen if you are using get next item. So one item ID will be retrieved by the specific action and that item ID will be locked and here you will see currently it is pending and once that item will be picked by get next item so you will get here logged icon like this this icon is here for this item ID and you want to unlock that so you can do that using unlock item action so for that first we should have item that is logged so how can we lock so there are multiple way to lock the items so first i'm going to show you using get next item so first let me take one action stage and i will take a start here link with this and double click on this action stage select work queues and select get next item now get next item will give us next item it means it will lock that specific item from work queue so here we need to pass the queue name so queue name is here now if you want to put anything in the tag filter you can enter now go to item uh, outputs and here we have item id so it is going to uh, create so the chosen name for the stage conflicts with the stage item id on the page work queue view okay so it says that this is already available so let me see here in the walk queue okay because might be this is set as a global data items so what we can do here double click on that and instead of storing this item id on different page you can store here and create with the different name that is just item id right now we have item without a space id and click okay so we have this one and after this you can see here let me take one decision stage and so got item and here we'll take item id not equals to blank it means we have the data if we have the data then what will happen it will lock this item and then we'll check that we, the item is locked or not like that and then if we have the item id here in this value this data item so we'll unlock that one so to unlock the item we'll take one action stage because we are going to call action of work queue we view so we'll select work queues and then we'll select unlock item and then which item id we are going to unlock so this item id which is available on process records page now here it also gives us output as a unlocked boolean value type so it will give a value like true or false so if that item is unlocked so it will give you a true if not it will give you false now link here and then go to and so we are going to take here and a stage and link here after unlock link here now if we don't have any item so go to end so this is just a simple example i am showing you here just how to use this unlock item action now right click set next stage now you can see here we received this item id and if we'll go to q and you will see here this abc hyphen 123 is locked by that specific action you can see abc123 now we'll see here item got yes now we are going to run this part this unlock item so what will happen the same item id will be now unlocked now this unlocked same item id and we are getting a true value here now let's go to this queue and now you will see that one two three that abc one two three is now unlocked right so by this way we can unlock the item which is locked 
So, I hope you learned this one how to unlock item. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn UI path RPA, then you can visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash UI path RPA. If you want to learn blue prism from Udemy, so I have created one course for blue prism RPA complete course on Udemy. So you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there. I will enter the, the referral code and the link in the video description. You can go through that. I hope you like that one. Thank you so much for watching this video.